This body butter will help you revive dull skin and help you get rid of uneven skin tone. Hello beautiful people. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this very beautiful lightening and brightening body butter. The first ingredient we're going to be using in making this brightening body butter is turmeric oil. Turmeric oil is a brightening and lightening oil. It can help in reviving dull skin. It can help with treating hyperpigmentation. It is excellent. Of course, this is a body butter, so we're going to be needing butters. First, I am using shea butter. You can choose to use any other butter or a combination of different butters. I am using shea butter because it is very moisturizing. It is also very affordable and accessible. Right now, I'm going to add the shea butter into my turmeric oil. You can also choose to use a combination of different oils, but I'm using only turmeric oil. So I'll add my shea butter into my turmeric oil and then I'll be using another butter, which is mango butter. Mango butter is going to be the second butter I'll add into this body butter. You can choose to use only shea butter if that is what you have. But I want to combine my shea butter with mango butter. If you are enjoying this video, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. So right now I'm going to add the mango butter into the turmeric oil as well. So here are the oils and butters we'll be using. Next, I'm going to be using emulsifying wax, also known as e-wax. This is going to serve as a thickener and it will also help to keep our body butter from melting. It will also keep our body butter from adding up after a while. So this will keep our body butter fluffy. So I'm going to add the emulsifying wax, e-wax, into our butters and oils as well. Because all of them are oil soluble, they will dissolve in oil. And next, I'm going to be adding in steric acid. Steric acid is going to be our core thickener. So it's going to do a job similar to what the emulsifying wax is doing. It's going to keep our body butter solid and it's also going to keep our body butter fluffy and creamy. So I'm also going to be adding the steric acid into our butters, oils and waxes. The full recipe with all the ingredients and their accurate measurements will be somewhere at the end of this video. So make sure you watch till the end so that you can get the full measurements. And here is our main ingredients. This is Kojic Depalmitate Powder, also known as Kojic Dip. Kojic Depalmitate Powder is a lightening active. It will help in brightening the skin. It will help in lightening, it will help in reviving dullness of the skin. It is our major ingredient and this is what will give that lightening effect. Remember that this is Kojic Depalmitate Powder, not Kojic Acid Powder. This is a derivative of Kojic Acid. So I'm going to add it into the oils and butters as well since it is also oil soluble and I'll mix them together. So here is what we have. This is the combination of our butters, our oil and our waxes and Kojic Depalmitate Powder. So now we are going to dissolve all of this together using the double boiling method. I'll dissolve all of them so that we can have a clear liquid which we can whip. Here I have a pot of boiling water. So I'm going to drop my bowl which contains everything in the pot of boiling water. The heat from the water is going to dissolve everything. Also, I'm going to stir continuously as everything dissolves. Dissolve it until there is no trace of any solid in the oil. As you can see, everything is already dissolving. It is dissolving gradually. As you can see, everything is almost completely dissolved we just have a few bits there once everything is completely dissolved we are going to take this off the heat and then we're going to go on with making our body butter as you can see everything is dissolved next i'm going to be adding in some ohoba oil ohoba oil is moisturizing it also has anti-aging benefits Ohoba oil will keep the skin looking soft and supple. So I'm going to be adding the ohoba oil into the dissolved butters and waxes. Once we add all of the ohoba oil, we're going to give this a very good mix to ensure that everything is well combined. The ohoba oil should combine well with all the other oils, the butters and the waxes. Once everything is well combined like this, 
we are going to pop this in the freezer and allow it to solidify we're going to allow it solidify so that we can whip this to have a whipped body butter you should allow this to solidify very well if it's not solid enough your body butter will not form so you should leave this for about 30 minutes 45 minutes or up to an hour and here is what our body butter is looking like after a while in the freezer as you can see it is completely solid and now it is time to whip this as you can see it's having this bright yellow color and that is because of the turmeric oil that i used if you're using a different oil it will not have this color i have my electric hand mixer here and this is what we're going to be using to whip our body butter so right now i'm going to whip the body butter gently on low speed until we get this very fluffy and beautiful consistency just whip gently on low speed don't whip it on high speed if you've watched this video to this point and you're finding this video helpful please make sure you like this video and also drop a comment asking your questions as you can see our body butter is becoming fluffy as i whip it you can see the consistency is changing and it's becoming very creamy and that's courtesy of the steric acid and the emulsifying wax that we added just take a look at the natural coloring that the turmeric is giving right now i'm just trying to scrape the sides of the bowl so that all the parts that the hand mixer did not get to can get to the center and then we're going to whip it so that those sides get whipped don't you just love this body butter it's already looking great and trust me it will feel just as beautiful on the skin if you would like a more solid body butter then you can increase the amount of steric acid that you add to your body butter after whipping the body butter look at this look at the beautiful consistency don't you just love how beautiful our body butter is looking our body butter is almost ready but let's add some finishing touches first i am adding in lavender essential oil to give our body butter this nice scent and then next i am adding in vitamin e oil as an antioxidant and then i'm going to give our body butter that one beautiful final mix and that's it our body butter is ready now i'm going to add our body butter into our jar and save it for use as you would notice i did not add a preservative into this body butter and that is because it does not contain water however if you're making this for sale then i would suggest that you add a preservative and here is the full recipe as promised you can take a screenshot and replicate it whenever you want to make yours if you watched this video till this point thank you so much for watching and i hope you learned something new from this video please make sure you give this video a like also drop a comment and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more amazing content bye and see you in my next video